Hello and welcome to the news report with Jon Snow. Something is going to snow, it's snow, something to do with snowy, it's going to snow outside or it is snowing already. But I'm hearing, oh, it's snowing. It's snowing cats and dogs or it's raining, Lorraine, Lorraine Kelly, the name Kel or Lorraine or Laura or Louise, but like or Louisiana, Anne, I keep hearing the name Anne or Polly Anne, <laughs> Polly Anne or Anne. Like Annabelle, something to do with a, a doll, something to do with a doll's eye, doll's eye, doll's eye, oh someone's got an eye, really, we're going through this again, like a doll's eye or an eye, like I have one eye on you and I have one eye on them and I have one eye on, two eyes on, what is that, I've got nothing, got nothing but eyes for you. So I have nothing, is this like, what's his name, Bert Bacharach or saying, I've got eyes for you. Like, some people have been saying in the comment section as well about this eye, like, I've got one eye. So is it, I've got one red eye and one green eye, Jim Morrison, something to do with Morrison's. Or like, I've got one eye on this job and one eye on that job. Okay, or I've got one, <laughs> I've got one red eye and one green eye, meaning I'm colour blind in one eye. That has to be it. <laughs> I have to, I'm colour blind in one eye. Or like I'm blinded in one eye and I'm blinded by the light. So what are you doing with Virgo? Like I'm blinded by light. So I have, so something to do around light being shined in one's eye. I don't know what that is, unless you're going for like a, an eye test or something like that and they're shining lights in your eye. Are you a nurse, someone that's a nurse or something and they have a light and they say, okay, just look into my eyes. I mean, is someone being tested to see like something to do with a retina or something and they're shining lights in someone's eyes? I don't know what that is. Capricorn, you're right. How you doing? But I also keep hearing like something to do with around it snowing, like snow, snow. It's like loads of snow from Snowden. Okay, from Snowden, Snowy, someone that's called Snowy. Uh, but definitely the names Anne keep coming through, like Anne, Anne, Annabelle, the Annabelle doll. Unless you're just watching horror films and stuff like that. Okay, which is actually out now on a lot of uh, Prime and Netflix and stuff. I think, which was the latest one, right? Uh, with the Annabelle doll. But it keeps saying Annabelle. Anne, 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 Anne. My aunt, my nan is called Anne or Anthony. Anthony? Anthony or Anthony Hopkins or Ant or Anton Deck. <laughs> Anton Deck, so what, are you from Manchester? From Manchester? Are you from up north? And from up north and like Anton Deck. Well, apparently they got sent home and they can't do Celebrity Get Me Out of Here now because of the weather. So there you go. So Heather, Weather Vane, Ant. Deck, Dick, someone's got their eye on a Richard, or Rachel, or anybody beginning with R, okay, or Lara, Laura, Lara, Laura, but like I've got my eye on someone's dick, so I don't know if you're getting dick pics, or want dick pics, or you're just looking with one eye at a dick, I mean, <laughs> that might be why you're blinded in one eye, because someone could be like doing it too much. When we were, <laughs> sorry, but I've just got out of the shower as well, bruv, so I'm like in a bit of a mess. But like, um, <clears throat> Lloyd, but like, um, I definitely keep hearing, like, if you keep going in there, you'll go blind. So, I don't know, like, if you keep going in there, you'll be blind. So, is someone shooting up in their eye? <laughs> is it Paula? Like, something to do with eyeball pull. And if you keep taking shots in your eye, you're definitely going to go blind. Or, like, if you keep knocking one out, you're definitely going to go blind. Unless someone spits in someone's eye. I don't know, but I keep hearing, well, my third eye's shooting something out, a star. Something around Aquarius or Leo, don't worry about it, Capricorn, we'll get to any kind of messages at the moment. I've got to break down all this weird shit that they keep throwing at me. So, okay, so someone keeps throwing stuff at you. Like, So be careful if someone is, like, if you work around anywhere that's violent and someone throws something at you and it hits you in your eye, okay? Because I'm definitely keep hearing like some kind of like violent outburst and somebody hits someone in the eye. So if you're like in a violent relationship or anything like that, I can see someone getting slapped, but it hits them in their eye. Okay, because I keep I definitely keep hearing like like hello, are you conscious? Like and shining lights in people's eyes just to see if they're like. You're right, you know, and they like they ring their bell. So ring, <laughs> I can ring my bell, ring my bell, John JDS Tarot. But like, um, so I definitely keep like someone gets their bell rung. Or <laughs> sorry, John, you keep coming up, bruv. But like, uh, gets their bell rung. Like they get their. That's what we say in the UK. If you don't know anyone else, they get their, their bell rung. <laughs> Like, boom, right, so I'll knock your fucking eyes straight. So, <laughs> something like that, or someone gets, in, gets into a lot of fights with people, 
okay, and like I'm gonna knock your eyes straight, or like, um, man, what on earth is this? So if you're working around anywhere, just be careful around your eyes, okay, around your eyes. Um, surprise, here's Johnny. So be careful around <laughs> John, John. So John, surprise, here's a Virgo. So a John that's a Virgo or a nine. Surprise, be careful of the surprise, John, they're saying, of something that is in your eye. So any of you like sheet metal work, fabricators, and you work with sheet metal work, and you do things where there's sparks, because I keep hearing mark or a spark, and some kind of spark hits someone in their eye. Oh, okay. So does anybody do like, <coughs> unless you're called spot, but like Bob or spot welder, like someone that welds and they're like, and they got Arkite, Arkite, Are they call it Arkite, or Arkite, Jai, the name Jai, or Arkite, where you're welding and you're not wearing a mask and you're not wearing protection and then like a, a spark hits one in one's eye. So if you're working around cars or, or anything like that where it's requiring sparks, then be very careful and make sure that you're wearing your headgear also, okay, headgear. Oh, sorry, I'm just noticing, man, I'm fucking, I hate it when like, just don't worry. I'm having a hair day. <coughs> um, yeah, and I'm running out of clothes because it's like winter now, bruv. It's like, it is, uh, what was it? Um, minus one this morning, like extremely cold. Um, yeah, so I don't know. All I keep picking up is like weather, a weather vein, something to do with around veins. So is this where someone's veins are poking up? So has anybody got a drug problem here around drug problems? Okay, around veins. Uh, weather being snowy. They're saying snowy weather for some reason. So I'm predicting some kind of like weather report. Someone could be reported by a violent outburst of something because they end up in their, they're probably in like a, an extremely violent relationship with someone and someone lashes out and slaps somebody. Okay, I definitely hear like I'm going to slap you with a court order. So some of you are probably going to court or order Laura, Laura, <laughs> Laura, <laughs> but like I'm going to slap you, slap or spank you. I mean, what's that? Spank or slap? I don't know. I'm hearing spank me or slap me. But do something with me. So you can do anything you want, is what I'm hearing. Like, you can do what you like. You can spank me or slap me or, I don't know, someone wants to be slapped stupid. I don't know. Or like, uh, is someone blonde? I don't know. Is it M? <laughs> but like, uh, blonde. Um, something like uh, four dumb blondes. Four dumb blondes or something like that. 25 years, um, my life is filled. 25, something to do with a 2, which is Libra, and a 5, Sagittarius, Taurus placement. 5 and 2 is 7, so you've got Cancerian, Life Path 7 energies here. Don't forget Capricorn, you can also watch this as a 6, which would be also Gemini, Life Path 6, or 2 energies to find, I have to go through this again. You people that fed up, just skip it. The most important thing you can ever do is look for the karmic value number of the three. One, two, add the two life paths together. What's that number? That's the major arcana card. Okay. So if it'd be like a two, that'd be Libra. If it'd be three, it'd be Pisces, but they're not divisible by one. So they're really major karmic energies also. Okay. Because if it would be a nine or so, not divisible by one, it would be on its own. It would be a Virgo, but it would be a moon and things that are hidden from you karmically. Three would be a drama triangle or that sort of stuff, teaching and learning. So look for the third number. If any of you guys don't know, okay, follow the link provided below and you'll see all the videos that are provided that tell you about how I read in code. It's very important. It's if you want to find out what's going on with your soulmate is to look for the third number. Two life paths come together for an experience of that number. Okay, so that's that out of the way. <sighs> Capricorn, what have they got for December? Slapping. Slapping, slap, 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 Sarah, Steve, Sassy, Sal, also, nothing is coming through, like, that I can give you a true message over, it, I, I don't know, I keep picking up, like, something to do with around sparks, like a spark, so it could even be, like, I've got a spark, I've got a, fl a flame, okay, so it could be a twin flame, for you, like, you're in twin flame stuff, right, who isn't these days, but I have a twin flame and we have a spark, okay, and I also have a mark, I have a mole on my skin. Or you've got a dog called Molly, like myself, okay. But like, uh, I have a mole on my skin, or I have a mark on my skin, or something to do around someone's skin, or someone's Jewish, I don't know. But I'm hearing it's something to do with my skin, okay, my skin, my skin, 
Myskin. I, I keep picking up. That's a name, apparently. Myskin. Mikan. Mikan. Mika. Mika. Misha. Collins. Mika. Misha. Mika. Collins. Michelle. Collins. Misha. Michelle. Michelle. My bell. Bell. So something. Someone's from um, France here. France. Uh, Capricorn man. Nothing is really coming through. This sort of like. It's going to make any sense of channeled wise. I keep picking up like got one eye on you and I got one eye on someone else. So you got two. You got like Libra or two here. And I've got one eye here and one eye there. <laughs> so Cotton Eye Joe. Someone's from Cottenham or the name Joe. Gianna. Jay. Anybody beginning with Jay, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Okay. And I've got one eye on you and I've got one eye on them. So Alchemy, Natalie. I've got one eye on you and one eye on them. So you could be in a third part. You could be dealing with like a two of cups. Okay, and I have one eye over here, and I have one eye over here. Unless somebody lost their false eye. <laughs> like, uh, I lost my false eye, and I left my eye somewhere, and can someone go and pick up my eye? <laughs> really? Can you go and pick up Jai? So don't forget Jai, because he might get left behind, and you might be asked to go and pick someone up called Jay, Joe, anybody with Jay. Can you go and pick them up because you've left them behind? Like, I'm going to have to leave you behind. Because then you can you come and pick me up? I don't know what that's for. And then I'm also hearing, can you go and pick up my eye? So is it anything like glasses? Like, can you go and pick my glasses up? Or you've got to go and have a glass test, like a retina test or glasses. Like, and you've got to go to the, to the, what do you call it? You should have gone to Specsavers. Laura. So Laura, Laura, the other Laura. There's plenty of Lauras on here. But the other Laura that goes... It's got the jean pocket thing. One hand in my... i got one eye in my pocket and the other eye is on you. So i got one eye in my pocket. What the fuck is it about this eye? Is it an eye test? An eye test. Eye. I've got my eye on you. So someone is like constantly eyeing someone up. Just put it that way. Like I'm eyeing you up. Like I'm sizing you up. Okay, and I'm keeping my eye on you all of the time. I have the tiger, something to do with a Leo or an Aquarius, which will be an eight. And I have my eye on you all of the time. Eyes. I've only got eyes for you. Fuck if I know, bro. That is nothing but confusion. See, that's what I'm saying, Capricorn. Someone's got their eye on someone's dick. I'm just saying, bruv. Like, like I'm looking to have some kind of sexual experience with you. <laughs> like, I've got my eye on your dick. So someone's looking out for, like... Man, I wish I could just send this to somebody, or I wish they would send it to me. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm healing. Can you healing? Can you send it with a loving kiss or something like that? Okay, or someone needs to rub something. Rub, bark, rob, Robert, rob. Can you rob me? Nobody wants robbing. Can you rob me? Can you rub me? You rubbed me up the wrong way. Someone's rubbing themselves over a person. I'm just putting that way. So basically someone's knocking one out, rubbing one out. Like I'm rubbing one out and then thinking of you whilst I'm doing it. Like like fantasizing over someone's like sexual stuff. And they're kind of like, man, oh, and like they're really going at it and thinking about this person whilst it, <laughs> it's, it's fucking what's here, bruv. If you're in a twin flame relationship or something, that's there. It's kind of like, man, all I can do is like think about you. That's it. Like, because there's a, it's an opportunity, but it can either be missed or given. But it's also like, well, I don't mind giving it or taking it either. So, yeah, man, you yeah, could be in a same sex relationship for a lot of you, but like, um, well, I can either take it or leave it. Or Lee, Leanne, Lucy, Laura, Lucy, Luz, Lucifer, Capricorn. So some of you are like really kinky, right? Honestly, I'm thinking that some of you here could possibly be on your own, but you have kind of like this fantasy. You have like a baby D or like fantasy. Let me be your fantasy. So someone's right up in their mind in fantasy land. Okay. Um, and I'm also picking up like um, fantasia or, or fantasy. Like um, what is it? Uh, it's where everybody gets bored, but I'm trying to think. In America, where you go where there's like um, Daffy Duck and uh, kind of uh, Mickey Mouse, Michael, you know, Mika, Michael, anybody beginning with M, okay, or E, Emily, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julie, Justice, Justice, Dick and Jasmine. But like uh, that place in America, something to do with that. I don't know what that's coming from. 
Uh, yeah, but somebody's fantasy, like fantasy, like this is my fantasy, this is my wildest fantasy, but I can only really keep that to myself, right? Because it's like, if I was to explain this to this person, all I can really do is think about this person in this way. But, I, well, okay, I'm also hearing I can't believe I'm actually thinking about this person in this way, okay? Can't believe that I'm thinking about this person in this way. New day. Oh, sorry, I've just got a card. So, sorry, I've just ordered a, uh, a card from uh, Amazon. Amazon card. Any of you out there in the credit card thing is you get a fifth listen if you don't know uh, amazon right if you're amazon prime okay they're doing a car deal at the moment and if you get their card you don't have to spend anything on it you can just get one but if you get their card they give you a 50 pound voucher free so you can have anything you want for 50 quid and you don't even have to use your card you just get a limit on it and pay it over 12 months if you want but the card has a 50 pound gift voucher attached to it as well just by signing up so <laughs> it's worth it tyrone it's 50 quid brother it's free so yeah, if y'all guys don't know, go go on Amazon if you're on Prime and get a, a, a card and sign up for their card and then basically, you, you, it's up to you. But here, it could be a Pisces. So someone's got their eye on it, you see. I'm hearing like I've got my eye on a rainbow. Mm, see, someone it really is. They're passionate for someone here. Okay, you got your paradox number. Why is it every time I come to Capricorn, I get nervous? Like, I feel this nervous feeling. Like, it's making someone feel, like, really nervous. Like, you make me feel nervous. <laughs> like, I don't know why it makes my heart skip a beat and I feel nervous around you. Like, I actually feel, like, my heart, like, skips a beat. Or, like, I can feel my heart where it takes my breath away. Take my breath away, boom, boom. Tom Cruise like Tom but like it takes or Tom Cat something around a Leo or an Aquarian but it takes my breath away and I get really nervous when I'm around you like it just makes me feel nervous you make <laughs> you make me feel nervous but like a good nervous like not like anxiety and panic attacks and everything else it just makes me feel really nervous when I speak to you or when like when I think of you it makes me feel nervous that's really what I keep hearing um I'm really not picking up too much for you, Capricorn, apart from, like, this energy of feeling really good, okay, but I'm also keep picking up, like, fantasy, like, I'm trying to live out my deepest fantasies, like, my fantasy, fantasizing, and some of you are actually with someone here, but there's still this energy of what I'm hearing of, like, fantasy, like, fantasy land. Capricorn for December you see again like this it is it's like a like a, a two so you kind of got like this agenda like or gender like something to do with this genetics or gen Julian Jason Justin Jackie Jasmine but like something that is genetic okay so me for instance I come up as this because I'm a Gemini moon okay which is a six I do have Capricorn in Vedic, which is uh, Venus. But all the same, I uh, just found out about my cholesterol levels and that it's genetic. It's like passed on through family. Okay, There's a lot of mental health stuff that's going on at the moment. And uh, if you want to know any about that so I don't bang on it through here, you'll have to follow my vlog, which is Behind the Life of Tarot. You can find it everywhere on this channel. It's just literally everywhere. Okay, But there's going to be a lot of discussions about things like that. But this is some kind of like secret fantasy. Like I have a secret about you or I have a secret, but you know, but you don't know. Like you don't know how much like or you don't know how much I'm doing it. <laughs> like you don't know how much you're doing it. I don't know because it's a se like because um, these here I'm not picking up like this is a bad secret. It's like a fantasy that someone has that they keep hidden about themselves. Like they don't tell the person what it is that they're feeling like sexually for the person like they're not telling them okay um because it's kind of like really turning someone on but they're not expressing that to the person they're not saying that they're keeping it like quiet and then this person kind of like thinks about that feels that and then kind of gets over it and then comes back into the energy do you know what i'm saying like 
it's there on my mind. Like, you're always on my mind. Some of you are not speaking to a sibling, a brother or a mother or a father or someone like that, and you're not speaking to them. M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Justin, Jackie. Um, and that's just you guys that have equivocally been going through this with an ex with children for God knows how long, okay? But I'm trying to get away from the same old monotonous bollocks, you know, for the people that have gone through their karmic shit for a, le a life and a day over fighting the ex for children. It's still here, always will be. But the other messages that I'm picking up, that I'm trying to get away from the old, is that this is something new. That it's not something old, it's something new. And it's only just begun to live. Justin, white lace and promises, a kiss for luck and we're on our way. Because it's only just begun. So it's only just begun, and I feel that someone's watching me, or I know that someone's watching me, but I can also feel them all up in Maritas and Chakras and Auras. And I can feel them everywhere, now and again. Like, I don't know if this is being discussed in secret or not. Like, it's a secret, uh, it can be a secret affair, or it can be a secret fantasy. That I, that I have this secret fantasy about this person, but I can't explain that to them. I can't tell them that I have that, because it feels personal. But it's kind of like... They get to this state of like climax or whatever it is, but they do then, but then they don't. It's kind of like they back out. It's kind of they really want to say something, but then they kind of back out of it. Like, and then I'm just at the verge of saying something, and then I back out. Okay. Or like, I'm just at the verge of climax, and then I, I struggle. <laughs> right? I struggle. Because I realize that it's not, not actually there. Uh, I'm also hearing Max and Vax and Vaccine also. Maxine, but also like um, vaccination, vaccination, vaccination. Is that all you think about? So that's more than likely going to be a Taurus or a Sagittarius person that you've got around you here. And it's all conspiracy. Everything is a conspiracy. So there could be PPD, which is personality... Uh, uh, paranoid personality disorder. This could be a disorder that someone's paranoid. Okay, paranoid. And they don't know. Like, like I said, there's an energy here that something could be happening. And then an energy that could not be happening. But there's also an energy of paranoia. Like I'm paranoid. Okay, it could be schizophrenia. Which can also be classed as hearing things. Why do you think I made the last music that I made for Angel Radio? Please let it be the light. And if you listen to the rapping stuff and everything else in it. And the... the the song is basically what am I listening to? You know, am I really listening to the light? Am I listening to the dark? You know, is it ADHD? Is it physical mental health? Not for me, but like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's energies. You'll have to listen to the song if you haven't heard it. It's on Angel Radio. Um, but yeah, I definitely keep hearing like someone's having this secret fantasy or this secret connection with someone that they feel that they have to keep hidden, which means that if they're keeping that hidden, that there must be a reason why that is. And that is normally maybe because there's someone else in the picture. There's somebody else in the picture. Okay. There's somebody else in the picture. Okay, someone's... Or Pitch, Pitchley. Dan, Danielle Martin, Pitch Pitchley from St. Neots, Sandy. St. Neots, England, UK. Okay. <clears throat> um, but I'm also hearing, though that somebody else is physically inside a picture. Like someone's looking at someone's picture, right? Photograph or icon, and there's someone else in it. Like, because I keep picking up there's somebody else in the picture, which basically means esoterically there's probably a third party. But I keep getting these strong signals where it's saying there's somebody else in the picture, meaning photograph. There's somebody else in the photograph. Why do I keep hearing that? There's somebody else in the photograph. So is somebody looking at someone's pictures, like photographs or pictures, and there's someone else there? Or someone asks someone to go to the cinema, okay, to the cinema, or me ma, or me mother, or me ma. And there's a mother in the picture, like my mother's always in the picture. Or like someone's posting a picture of someone, but there's always someone else in the picture. So unless you're going to the cinema, but your mother goes with you to the cinema or something like that. Or I'm going to see me ma. I'm going to see me ma. So basically someone calls someone ma. 
instead of mother. They call them Ma. Mari. Mari? Auntie Mari. My Auntie Mari. And I'm going to see me Auntie Mari. Maureen also. I'm going to see me Auntie Maureen. <coughs> Doreen also. Doreen Virtue? <laughs> really? The Secret Virtue. Uh, let's see. Um, Capricorn for December. Sorry, Capricorn. It's very bitty at the moment. Sometimes I can... You see, it is. There's a third energy here. There's the Empress. It's, been, it's a secret. It's a secret. But they both have their eye on each other's energy. They're kind of keeping track of one another here. Could, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a Pisces, but it's a three all the same. But it's also a mother. Okay, so some of you are really struggling with your ex because you're either one not talking to your mother or you're, you don't have a mum, okay, and you're on your own. But there's an energy here also of where, like, I'm having to keep this a secret from this person, like I'm not talking to them, which means that if you have mothers, you're probably not talking to them. You're trying to keep them out of your relationships and not express anything to other people about what's going on. Okay, or you realize that you can't tell this person what they think and feel to you and you can't make it known. Okay, which is making it very difficult for a person of not being able to say what it is that they feel for this person because they probably have like a metaphysical side, which is a two, two of cups. And I have a secret metaphysical connection with this person, but I can't tell them that I do. Um, and then there's also this energy where if it isn't that... The High Priestess is someone that is more than likely struggling to still talk to the other partner that they had children with or their partner whatsoever. Like, and I'm struggling to talk to my partner. Okay. Can be multiple things, this uh, High Priestess. Because like I say to everybody, before you know it, your karma changes and you think that you know your future and then you watch and think, fuck, it wasn't actually that. It was something else. Right? <laughs> because <clears throat> it's blind to you it's always blind the truth the knowing uh so man somebody is equivocally in love with someone i'm only going to take that first card okay you you got virgo as well okay so you got man you've got a lot of major things going on here so you got virgo nine that's what i was saying about the nine energies of the numerology you got two, three, but you got the Queen of Cups, which is more like a Piscean. Okay, so it could be two, could even be three. I don't know. But what I'm hearing is, is that I love this person, but I can't tell them what they mean to me because they might love another person. But I also have this feeling for them as well. So there's a huge energy of a third, third party energy here. But there is something that's going on also here around incest. Not in, I don't think it's incest. It's something around families interfering into like the relationship of a person getting into a relationship of a family member. Like a little bit like where, say, if you've got a brother, okay, and there's two brothers and the brother ends up going off with this person's like, you know, like, or two women, you know, there's two sisters and one of the sisters had or did have a boyfriend or girlfriend and then the other person ends up with their boyfriend or girlfriend, <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not incest, but it's something that seems to be going on in the family where the other person, like, like they had a sister. Oh, I don't know why I'm picking it up. Like, it's something to do with a brother or a sister. And, like, what is that? Is it someone's mother? Like, I keep picking up, like, it's someone's mother. Like, someone has their eye on someone's mum. <laughs> like I don't trust my mum with my relationships I don't trust her because my mum this is the fuck is this man that I'm picking up right I'm picking up this storyline here that somebody doesn't want to introduce their boyfriend or girlfriend to their mother because their mother could be say hot for instance right their mother's hot and they feel that the other party might end up start liking this other person if they know. So, like, if I introduce you to this person, are you going to end up being with them? So, is someone paranoid here, or or it is happening? Like, if I properly introduce myself and properly open up, like, if I truly open up my feelings and I truly let you know who I really am, would this make it any better, or would it actually make it any worse if I really revealed who I was? 
And if I did say that, what would happen? Because I have this feeling anyway. And this came up for a Scorpio reading. It's going to be a Scorpio energy. Okay. Um, but there's also this energy of like, I don't want to introduce you to this person. Because if I do, you might start having feelings for this person. So I don't really want to take you out with all my friends. Because if you do, and I introduce you to my friends, you might start having an eye for my friend. <laughs> is what I'm picking up. And if it isn't a friend, it's like either a mother or a lover. And it's something to do with possible Gemini or slash Capricorn. And if I introduce you to this person, I don't trust you with knowing how this person really looks. Because I'm hearing, well, I don't really know how you look. Like, I don't, like, I haven't actually seen you. Like, I haven't seen you. Emu? Rod? Rodney? Rod, Jane, Zippy, Bungle? Rodney? Emu. M. What the hell is going on here? I don't know. It's kind of like this secret society. Like a society of secrets. That all I can ever really do is keep that to myself. Like, but I want to express it to you. But can we keep this just between me and you? Like, like, but I feel also... Someone's in love with two or three people here. Someone's got a very, very, very strong metaphysical connection with another person. That's the only way I can really put it. Okay. Then you've got the energy of like Virgo. Sorry, Capricorn, man. I always feel like backing out of a reading when it's so bitty and I'm trying to like, I can't just read the array of cards and just give you like a direct straight message. Okay. Because I really do pick up like it's very busy. Your, your reading is also a paradox number of Gemini as well through six. And then you've got all of these other characters here. And I really do keep picking up like it's some kind of like caricature, like a trait of someone's personality, like a personality disorder. OK, and I have like a personality disorder. Some days I don't even know the fuck I am, which which could be like paranoid personality disorder. OK, um, something like that. Like I'm extremely paranoid and like I'm trying to keep that to myself and not express my paranoia. Or am I just being paranoid? <laughs> right. Um, but it can also be a mental health disorder as well. Because it feels ashamed, but not. Like, I, I'm ashamed, but I'm not ashamed. Like, I'm not a ashamed to have this feeling, but I'm, a I'm ashamed to express that to you. Like, to talk to you about that. Guilt. Guilty. That's what it is. Is Alva feels like guilty before charged, Charla, but like guilty before proven innocent in, in court, but then guilty, I feel guilty, like a guilty pleasure. There you go. Like I have a guilty pleasure. So it could be food, it could be anything, right? But I have this guilty pleasure. Okay. So it doesn't mean necessarily that this person feels guilty through it. It just means that I have a guilty pleasure of something that's pleasuring me that I feel slightly guilty over, which could have anything to do with like sex. Okay. And that I do it, but then I also feel slightly guilty. But then I also don't. <laughs> to be honest with you, what this feels like is premature premature ejaculation or something. <laughs> or you, or you, you shouldn't be watching this if you're a, a younger of age anyway. But I'm picking up like, I feel like, so like, woohoo, let's go. And then once that feeling is gone, it goes and then I feel slightly guilty for it. Like I, like I feel really like ready to go and everything else. And then right at the end, I feel slightly ashamed of what I may have done through feeling so exotically like ready and passionate and everything else. And then after, I kind of like all of the sensations of what you get through that goes. And then I feel slightly ashamed at uh, how far I may have gone like something like that or absconded Scott or like absconded like abandoned fear of abandonment which can also be paranoia
Anyway, we're going to have to get on with your reading because I can't tell too much of what the hell is going on, to be honest with you, Capricorn. And to be honest, I felt that before I actually started your reading, that this is going to be a very difficult one for me to get through to tell you any kind of clear message. Because I pick up that there's quite a few people involved in this, whether they be family love interests or not. And it's a Pisces as well, not as a hangman for me. So there is something going on. So the only way we can really find out is if you want to join Patreon. It goes to both tiers. The first tier, very cheap. Okay, you get two monthlies, basically. Uh, and then the full access tier, which is, you old guys know, you get everything on the full access bundle. Steve is slightly behind because of the amount, uh, like, because I had two days off and I haven't been able to catch up because I needed my two days off. So whichever way around it is, you've still got the full access bundle, but everything starts again. And then throughout the month, everything goes to the full access. After that, just, you all know, know, it tells you all below anyway. If you want to follow the vlog, if you want to follow the music channel also, you can find those links provided below. If you want a personal reading, you can reach out from the email provided below. Everything is below. Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate it, Capricorn, and I'll catch you on your next one.